So what's lockdown been like for you guys? Okay, well, good morning. My name is Andy Gaston. Uh, many of you know me, but for those that don't, I'm a GP in the city and also a part of the um, leadership fellowship team at the church. And this is my lovely wife, Fliss, who's a dental nurse. She works for the Community Dental Service. So they've been providing all the dental care for Plymouth right through, uh, right through lockdown, which has been an interesting time. Fliss. Good morning. Um, so what has lockdown been like for us? Um, well, at the beginning of the year, life was picking up speed. Andy and I were beginning to feel the pressure. And just occasionally when this happens, we um, look at each other and we say, stop the world, I want to get off. So when March, the 30, um, when March the 23rd came around and everything had to stop, no going out apart from essential travel, shopping, and daily exercise, it actually felt like a bit of a relief. Yeah, I think in the early days of the pandemic, for me, there were a couple of things that were prominent. The first was a definite sense of relief that, that life had slowed down. Um, I was more organized at work, which uh, my colleagues, I'm sure, were happy about. Uh, I had more time to deal with fewer patients, so I felt I could actually be a proper GP for a change. Um, and my email had never and will never again be so organized as, as it was. But the second thing for us, there was considerable uncertainty, obviously, particularly at the beginning, um, about the future, trying to assess risks, trying to keep our building safe and secure, so we're assessing risk for our patients, for ourselves and our colleagues, um, but also then worried about how that might spill over into our, into our families. So we had time to tidy the garden, then enjoy sitting in it and soaking up that lovely sunny weather that we had. We did a lot of cycling as a family and explored more of Devon and Cornwall. And something I really appreciated was we ate together as a family more. Andy came home from work earlier than normal. There was no football training, football matches, youth clubs or meeting friends for Dan. And Katie had come home from France after finishing her ski season early. So that was quite a special time for me. I also felt extremely grateful to have a job during those months. To be able to go out to work and have contact with other people has been really important. And of course, having a salary coming in at the end of the month has eased some of the worries of lockdown. Many others have not had that security. So as Fris has said, I think we both find work really was a blessing. Um, apart from my usual work at the practice, um, I was also doing some shifts at the COVID hub, so that's where patients with COVID symptoms were being referred to be assessed rather than uh, coming to the normal general practices, so all the other practices in the city could stay secure. I even shaved my beard off briefly so that I could uh, fit a mask, um, and then after having done a couple of shifts, kind of decided I was overreacting a bit. Since then, work has gradually returned to a, to a more normal pattern, whatever normal is. Front doors of most surgeries are still closed, but uh, we have more and more patient contacts through the day using phone calls, using video, um, email, so lots of different ways of getting a contact. And now we're back to feeling really busy. But thankful for all the new technologies that have made life easier. And really interesting how general practice stay, stays the same way for years and years. And then over about two or three weeks, suddenly a whole load of new things come in. And every GP in the country just embraced it almost overnight, which was amazing. So now as infection rates are starting to rise again, there are concerns about how we'll cope with the winter pressures. Uh, but some of the earlier uncertainties we had about the virus. We know a bit more about the virus now than we did in March, uh, but nevertheless, there's still um, some uncertainties to deal with. But we're coping better, I think, than we were. It's also been interesting outside of the practice, being part of elders' meetings and other meetings on Zoom. 
and doing tutorials of medical students on Zoom, lots of, lots of that sort of stuff going on as well. But I have to say, both of us are very glad, very pleased to be back in the sanctuary for church services um, and for you know, occasional meetings. These months have felt strange. We can't greet friends or family how we would like to. No handshakes, kisses or hugs. We haven't been able to attend a family wedding or a funeral. Throughout these months, there have been anxieties and worries. Am I following the correct rules and regulations? Am I going the right way down the supermarket aisle? Am I keeping a two meter distance from others and have I remembered my mask? In all of this, Andy and I have been conscious that despite all the fears and uncertainties, we have a steadfast and sovereign God. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. <laughs> 